Hi. In the past week and a half, two weeks, I've been doing a number of experiments around Bluetooth on the Mozilla stack. Uh, the first thing that I added is Physical Web as an addition to Firefox OS. And this allows you to search and discover physical web beacons around you. Now, take a look at this meeting room. Uh, the moment that I'm walking past this meeting room and I see that no one is in there, the question for me is like, can I go sit here or is someone coming in the next 15 minutes? So we added a physical web beacon to the room and behind that is a website that's linked to the Google Calendar of the meeting room, allowing me to directly book it. Uh, we integrated the physical web discovery in the Firefox OS lock screen and it gives a pretty cool unified experience. It is how it looks um, currently on our current build. Uh, at the lock screen we got a new button which allows us to tap and find nearby devices. So we find uh, the meeting room here. And the moment that I click it, I get redirected to a special domain that is bound to the calendar. As you can see, it's free. So at one click, I can actually book it for 15 minutes. And now it's also blocked in calendar. Now, that is one thing. I think physical web is pretty awesome. Um, it allows us to discover services that we don't know that are there, but it gets really powerful if you combine it with something that is in development for a little while, it's the Web Bluetooth API. It, physical web allows to discover devices, but it does not allow us to interact with them directly. Here it works because, the, because what we want to do is interact with the calendar. We don't want to interact with the actual beacon or with the device. Um, but it can also be different. For example, I got a Parrot uh, mini drone here, Rolling Spider. And with the rolling spider, first of all, I want to detect whether there's one in the neighborhood, but I also want to interact with that through the web without needing to install an application. So the second experiment that I did is uh, exposing the web Bluetooth API that we had in Firefox was already that follows the W3C spec pretty closely and exposed that to Firefox, the browser on Firefox OS. So this allows us to not only discover the drone, but also fly it. And for that I used um, an application that the Taipei team did as a certified application of Firefox OS. Now that is no longer needed. The moment that we discover the drone and we tap it, we not only open, uh, not only open a web page, we also pass in the Bluetooth device as a parameter to the page. Now the page can just connect to the drone and start flying it. So here's a little video that we made. Um, what you see here is that um, the Parrot also shows up in a physical web overview. Now when we tap it, a normal web page in normal Firefox browser pops up. We tilt over the phone, and now we get presented with a UI of flying a drone. It's already connected at this point, so with one button press on uh, takeoff, you can really start flying. Uh, with the right one, you control the, the height left and the tilt, uh, rotation, and left you select the position in a 3D space. So now I can fly the drone here and there. And we also have a little button, <laughs> I have to admit, <laughs> a bit shitty that it filled. When you click it, it will flip over the drone. Uh, didn't have enough space here. So what we can do now by the addition of, uh, of both physical web and the Bluetooth API is that it allows us to not only discover devices in a super convenient and super fast way, in average, it takes about half a second before it pops up on your, on your lock screen. We also have a mechanism to directly interact with the devices around us. And this allows us to play with drones, uh, play with meeting rooms, anything that comes with Bluetooth without the need of installing an application. And that, that gets me really, really excited. I think it's fantastic. Um, I think that the experiments we did today are, are a great way of like, showing what is going to be possible with the web. 12 months from now. Uh, if you want to play with it right now, I got a build for the Flame device for Firefox OS in the description of the video here. So play with it and let me know your thoughts. <laughs> That's a way to kill your computer or drone. Are we done? Yeah, sure.